Uganda is located in East Africa. It is a landlocked country, slightly smaller than the state of Oregon. It is bordered by the Democratic Republic of the Congo to the west, by Rwanda and Tanzania to the south, Kenya to the east, and Sudan to the north. The equator passes through Uganda. Uganda has substantial natural resources, including fertile soil, regular rainfall, and sizable mineral deposits of copper and cobalt. Agriculture is the most important sector of the economy, and it employs over 80% of the workforce. Coffee is Uganda's principal export. Just over 27 million people live in Uganda, and of these, approximately 2 million are orphans. AIDS has had a major impact on the families of Uganda, leaving multitudes of children to care for themselves. The Makula Fund for Children was founded in 2005 to provide school fees, nutritional assistance, and medical care for Ugandan children orphaned by AIDS. This is a private school which started in 1997. We have registered 356 children. We have borders as 146 and the rest are the scholars. We start at 6 with the borders for their prep. Then they come out at a seven, they go for their early tea. As we wait for those ones who come from outside, those who walk to school. We go for, for parade at a, around 15 minutes past seven, up to a half past seven when we go for the normal classes. There is a health check. Uh, there is a national anthem being sung, and there is school national anthem. Simple meals like portion and beans sometimes, uh, or rice uh, with beans. After that, up to two when they go for another lesson. Then from two, they go out at uh, 15 minutes past three. That one we call it short break. From there, again, they go inside up to five. I am 14 years old. I have lived in Uganda for 14 years. And I'm learning at Kaku Parent School. I'm in primary seven. And some of the subjects we learn are math, SST, the study of man and the surrounding, science and English. But I like math most. I like all the teachers. I like my school. My favorite game is football. And I'm the school goalkeeper. The job that I want to take in my future, I, will, I would like to be a pilot. Fly an aeroplane in all the countries. All over the world. My best subject is SST, social studies. We study about man and his surroundings like in Uganda from P4 to P5 we learn about physical futures in Uganda P6 now we are learning about physical futures of East Africa but when you go up you start learning about physical futures of other countries like in P7 you start going in South Africa and other countries in Africa and my best game is a uh, Riding bicycle, I like I like riding bicycle around 
playing football and running. Right now I live with my brother Joseph. Mm, he take care of me, can wake up in the morning, tell me to go to the breakfast club. I go there, we take some porridge. I come to school. I am 12 years and my brother who takes care of me is 20 years. He has two children. He lives with his wife and me. When we go to where they sleep, the dormitory, you find they are congested. In, instead of 20 pupils, you will find around 30 pupils, which is a great challenge. They don't get enough air there. I would hope to expand, expanding the dormitory, getting more rooms, buy some beds, because even some children, I buy for them the mattress, like those ones who are helped, they always get the mattress from the school, instead of them carrying the mattress from their home to here. They just come and find it here. This school is both day and boarding and uh, it is mixed both boys and girls. We have close to 400 students, many of them are orphans, some of them have been orphans, their parents died of AIDS, others died during the wars, so you find majority of them are orphans and they cannot have anyone to assist with their fees. So, then, of course, other parents are alive, but possibly their incomes are very low to the extent that they cannot pay fees for their children. You find some people live in the streets, others live with their friends. Some of them come from very far, and especially if they're in day school, they don't come in time. They, they come when we have started teaching already, uh, because others live very far and there is no any means of transport, they have to walk on foot. At times it takes them like two hours to come to school now. If someone starts working say at 6.30 or 7, they can reach here 8, 8.30 when classes are already started. Because we start classes at 7 o'clock. At times they reach so late when they are even tired. Uh, by the time they concentrate to study, time has already gone and they can't study very well. We are